All right, hello once again, YouTube. Welcome back to some more Pathfinder. Uh, in the last one, we finally actually built our custom party. We have our members. We have me, BWI, we got Dr. Krauser, we got Amphreets, we got Mew, we got Mechistopheles, and we got Cringe. I've also invited Cringe to the uh, to uh, join me. We might do a um, my game on to actually co-host for a bit, like we've done before with some other games, but for the moment, no sign of him yet, so we'll keep going. Should be able to get two episodes in today, I think. So yes, this is Staunton. The main bit here is, uh, if you've heard rumours about me, so know everything people say about me is true. What do they say about you? And yeah, they basically say that he's a traitor. Um, come on. They have no right to treat you that way. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, no, he, he basically... They kind of do, but they're kind of too harsh on him, given how long it's been. Um, basically, he got tricked by Minago into opening the gates of Dresden, which is how the demons got in and captured it. Uh, so, yeah, it is pretty bad, though, because he did lose him his city, but the Queen basically said, your, your punishment is to serve with the army, pretty much. Which he's been doing for years at this point, because he's a dwarf, of course, he's very long-lived. Uh, however, of course, we're looking for an elf. We're looking for the storyteller. You know where he is. Strange fella, he used to talk about things, never offered junk judgment, but he listened a lot. Uh, he is blind and feeble. Hmm. Well, no, they're not wrong about the blind thing. Uh, feeble? Hmm. We'll get to that. He's only in the city where you know, probably know what that means. You know, one place he might be the Blackwing Library. You know what used to libraries to a blind help? We love the place. Maybe we'll see each other again. I'm gone. I think we can also talk to these two. I think one of them is a merchant. Yeah, so scrolls. There's a little bit of law for him, but I don't think any of it was particularly relevant. I think we already equipped everyone up, so I think we can just sell the rest of the weapons for now. Make a little bit of money, sell the weapons that I'm going to use. I might as well sell the torches. I normally keep them, but I think we actually can sell them because. I think it's force of habit because Kingmaker, which is the previous game, has a certain quest early on with some spiders. It's a bad habit of getting newbies killed because they are spider swarms. The reason this matters, sorry for the break, taking a bit of civil water, is that swarm enemies don't take damage from normal physical attacks. And the sort of weapons that can hit them are a lot rarer in that game at that point in time than they are in this one. Now let's see, we can buy a few things. We can actually afford a scroll of Ray's Dead, which we would be able to memorize, which is pretty funny, but we won't be able to use it. Uh, Dispel Magic. I might actually... I might actually buy one scroll of that just to memorize it for later. There are some other things we could buy. We could buy a lesser extend mecha magic rod. This would let us... I don't remember what extend fee is. This would double the duration on our spells. We could use it on our third level spells. And we could use it three times a day. Uh, which is pretty good. Meta magic feat you can will normally have that effect on spells, but they make them higher level. This is free. This could work on any of our spellcasters and double the duration of one of their spells. So might well have that. Also some more expensive items, because again, magic items are always expensive. But they give you two armor and some bonuses on knowledge arcane. So decent. Let's go to see if there's anything else immediate one. I don't actually think I normally check this shop. Guardian of Life. So under the effect of a Death Ward spell, you get two PC that's undead. If single target cure wound spells use on someone without oh who's run out of health. Oh, you get better health to be back. So that's kinda good. That'd be good on the healer. It's also alchemists and scroll scribers kits for if we wanted to be able to make spells and uh, potions. I guess I'll grab the level 1s, because they cost nearly nothing. I don't know whether we'll ever use them, but why not? Um, with a lot of ingredients, I think most of those are the ones we sold to him. Wand of Bless. Is that actually a wand? Oh, yeah, it is. Bless is like an AoE buff. It's actually not tremendously expensive. Nine charges? Maybe. It's not an amazing buff, but it's not awful. Ring of Path of Blood Magic. That's for Blood Rages. We don't have one of those. Dead of Boots. They're not very expensive. What do they do? 
Actually, really even crossing hazardous areas. Using acrobatics to provoke a avoid provoking a type of opportunity for content personal ability checks. That is about as specific as it gets. Uh, I think that would be for like a um a swashbuckler, I think. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Like I said, I haven't necessarily looked at some of these things too heavily before. It's not expensive item, but I think we're gonna pass on it anyway. Still gonna make a decent amount of money. Uh yeah, that should be fine for now. We'll go with that. I think there is another shop anyway. So we might well have a look in there. I think Blue was going to be the one to learn that, so copy that spell book. Oh, yeah, we should see if any of the others can copy spells. Yes, Reg can learn a bunch. Doc can learn a bunch. The little feather icon means they can learn it. Anything I can learn, I'm going to do that, because that's going to be infinitely better value than just using the scroll. Mecha can learn Bear's Endurance. That's actually quite a good one. Was that Bull Strength? It was Bull Strength. We can't cast yet, but soon. I think we've ended up with a few half casters or slightly odd casters. No make us or slightly well, actually no, that's probably normal, because we've only got level one as well. Yeah, I've got the slightly odd half caster thing. There's Lan. Uh we can't ask you about stuff. But again, we're mostly gonna be skipping on them for now. I think you can talk to these two and they're like having an argument. It's basically going on about history, but I think if we humour her. He's basically saying the last war was cooler. Ah! Cringe is here. He might be joining us. One moment. Let's see if he joins. Uh, if we could quietly listen to discussion. Uh, hey. Come on, way to be here. Yeah, tell us some stuff about them. Where'd you come here? To witness the war? Cringe, by the way, in the other ch in the chat. Sorry, I was delayed. A small child came and bothered me. Fish, eat them. Cringe, they're my sister, so less likely. <laughs> oh dear, I like less likely. Not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Basically, she's like saying she's unimpressed by the war, and you've got the monk here just being like, "Do go out and look at it." If I try and butter her up, it looks like you know more about warfare than the rest of us. Uh, why don't you join them and show them? Yeah, no, I'm a historian. I'm not going to actually fight. Uh, why do you find it so inspiring? Basically said there's a lot of cool stuff happened. What do you know about it? Big researcher. To say, but you're wrong to be so harsh on the Crusaders. What species actually is she? I just realized she's kind of strange looking. It's like grey skin. But she doesn't have Aureed hair. I never actually looked that close to her model, it's like a weird oddity that's only in this like building. I wonder what species she actually is. Is she an undead? Okay. That's all blah blah blah, more troops, more reinforcements things, blah blah blah. Compared to the just we are but stone club wielding kobolds. I think we're basically just word salading our way through it. Let's go with knowledge world. Principles of war are always the same. Weapons, causes, resources may change, but the foundations remain immutable. <laughs> it's very frustration as she hears the audience, clearly pressed by your argument, <laughs> muttering approval. I'm not sure I really said that much, but what's your new words? I'll give you that, yes. Concept does not change, but sophistication does. Stops realizing her words, no matter how ostentatious, no longer have the power to captivate the audience. It's like, yeah, there's certain truth. I'm sure you would have been able to expand on your arguments in a longer discussion. And there we go. Yeah, even if I'm. I'm 100% with pink card, I'm like, shut the hell up, lady. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're still fighting for our lives here. Um, if you if you butter her up, you can get a sword. I don't even know if we need it. Probably mana gaming a bit, but there it is. Chlorogistica. It is a short sword. Wait, hang on. It's actually really good. I didn't, really, I didn't remember how good the actual buffs were. It's got flaming, and it's got a plus one on it. It's not amazing, but for where we are, is that better than his dueling sword? Tremendously, actually. Uh, Enhancement plus one negates the need for cold iron. Yeah, wow. 
and I think the plus one negates the uh, the downside of it not being a dueling sword, so it's not getting extra bust on that. We will try and get him a dueling sword later, but that little sword actually hits hard on his for now. And no, uh, we're good with Helio. We got him last time, we got our party set up. Oh, is there a basement you can go and visit? Oh, uh, we can talk to the barkeep. Any news? Demons everywhere and you showed up. Anywhere worth visiting? I mean, places that normal people usually stay away from, there are plenty, like the wine cellar. Well, ah. A wine cellar whose guy was found in a ditch. Something weird happened, basically, and there's maybe a ghost. <laughs> that ass man makes the noise with no head, I wasn't there, I just tell it like I heard it. What does he have? Ah, he's got potions, okay. We've got plenty of cure wounds potions, we've got like 40 of them. Uh, he does sell stronger ones, not cheap though. Plus of the neophyte. Proof cantrips or level one spells. Hmm. Not amazing, but not awful. Dark veil. Total concealment against range attacks for a minute. That'll make you very hard to hit early on. I completely forgot this was here. <laughs> We're buying that. This is a bag of holding. For those that don't know what a bag of holding is, uh, it's a thing that originated from D and D, like Pathfinder itself. Uh, it's basically a magic bag that holds more than it should be able to, and it doesn't weigh anything. Regardless of what it's put in the bag, the weight doesn't change. Basically just because there's an extra 100 uh, carry weight, no penalty. We're going to take the food recipe. We always want those. Uh, basically when you camp, you can cook food. It gives you buffs. The more recipes we have, the more options we have. Uh, I don't know if we need anything... What is this? A bottomless mug? This wasn't here last time I played. Plus two bonus for saving throws against fear for an hour. Taking another thing... Used by Monk of the Drunken Master Architect, also to source one key point that makes your melee do more damage. Hang on. Drink for up to five times a day, but it wears off, you get a hangover. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. You have to log rest to get rid of it. That's hilarious, but we can't. Uh, well, we can't afford it, but we shouldn't get that now because, um. What do you call it? Um. We don't have a monk. I think of the words there. Dark Omen. If you cast spells spontaneously, get some of the cast some of those. Spells are, oh, I think so someone like Amphreeks could use that, because he's got spontaneous casting because he's a druid. I think. I think that's right. Um or sorcerer, I think, could use it. It basically lets them Yeah, no, I think it is those, because spontaneous spells I think are the ones where you like you sacrifice a spell you had ready to cast another one. Uh but at any rate. I'm gonna go ahead and also, uh, I might pick up the gloves on the Neophyte. They're not incredible, but this early on, that's a nice effect. And we are a level 1 caster, that would improve our spells. Sure. Did cost us a good chunk of our money. I think the bus will be worth it. Worth it. Now, who do we want to wear it? What are my spells quick at the moment? The two snowballs in our... Mm, so not fully damaged set up. And again, I'm not sure any of us are... Me and Mecha actually have the same amount. Mecha's got the better sword. I think I'll actually put that on me for now. You can always switch it later. It's one point per, da per dice rolled, so spells that do more dice would be better. But of course it's going to be a... Uh, what do you call it? Level 1. That said, if you notice there, I'm biting hands for a caster level. That's in 5d4. If we were a level 5 caster, we would roll 5 dice, and every one of those dice would get an extra plus 1. So they will get better as we get higher level. Okay, now uh, I think Cringe was hoping to join, but hasn't yet, because I don't know if he's realised I'm started already. So I'm going to pause the recording here quickly and see if we get him in. See you in a moment. And we're back. I did indeed manage to uh, reel in a crab. <coughs> oh. Yes, we've got Cringe. Uh, we have two of them now. I don't now. know what noise crabs make besides pinch, pinch, pinch. Cl Clickety-clack. <coughs> mm-hmm. I genuinely thought for a moment there we might have had a crash. <laughs> it's going to be his finally <laughs> end and it crashed instantly. There you are. There is you. Yay! You, you'd be a dwarf. This was the closest thing I could find to a gun. <laughs> Perfect. You have a heavy crossbow. So, yes, yeah, so this is the party. I'll quickly introduce it for you. We have myself as witch. Don't mind the crossbow yep. as well. It's just a case of it's better than the hand traps at the moment. We have Krauser. He's an alchemist. Gotcha. He specializes in grenades. Of course. Uh, we have Amphredes. He's a puma. 
as in I'm probably going to transform him into whatever the closest formed cat is and leave him like that for a bit. Uh, we have Mew, who is a... Oh, what was Mew? Mew's a kineticist. I think and it is actually a psychokineticist class, so that was like pretty perfect for a psychic type. Mm -hmm. Amph is um, a Magus. I tried to make him look as much like the Atlas as I could. Gotcha. Uh, and you are a Ranger. I figured that was the closest Ranger thing to like a Warf. Rifleman yet. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so I this... Like it. To explain briefly, this is the Tavern. Uh, it does have a name, but I can't remember what it's called. Um... It's basically our base of operations at the moment. The city has been overrun by demons. We're trying to get it back. Mm. Also, this oh, is, that is a big lad. It is a very big lad. A big shiny lad. Mm -hmm. There's a slightly big, less big lass. <clears throat> is the commander. Mm. Basically, uh, they ran off with a golem from the museum that some mm. looters were trying to steal. <laughs> They're just like, well, we've got it now. Just like this thing is worth more than the castle. Like, <laughs> your job is to look after it now. <laughs> you idiots grabbed it, so you're in charge of it now. Don't let it get stolen. I Can you see, guess? Because he was not in the original game. Can you guess what his actual uh, role is? Um. Hmm. He does have a thing he can do. I would... Uh, he's a tank. Uh, what he does, um, you know in games you get, like, transmog, where you can, like, make one bit of gear look like another one? Yeah. He does that. That's his entire purpose. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's kind of neat. He's basically just a little, hey, you want your gear to look like this thing? Here you go, which I actually quite like, because some of the gear kind of looks right for what it is, but I don't like how it looks. Mm -hmm. so vain. We talked to his brother earlier. Uh, Look, there's a rat doing circles on the stairs. <laughs> there is a rat. He's stuck. <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh, the rat! The rat. He's here already. Uh, oh yeah, we found the sword we found earlier. We could show it to him. If he made it. He's basically saying like, "Hey, like, oh yeah, there's the rat. Hey, like, I'll make you a decent scabbard for it. For um, come back later. Also, he sells armor." I don't know if we need any for this party, but we might as well have a quick look. I think everyone was reasonably well armoured for what they could actually even bring. Which is not a lot. I don't think we've ended up with many party members that can actually take heavy armour. Hmm. Uh, can I take heavy armour? You... I think rangers can take medium. Ah, uh, I was I thinking because I'm a dwarf, but no, that makes sense. I forgot I'm still a gun wielder. Yeah. Now, we want to keep your dexterity high, so we have to be a little bit careful about what we'd get for you. Because gotcha. our heavier armor, like, gets in the way of your ability to shoot, basically. So you can have up oh. to up to a dex limit for a bit of armor without it getting in the way. You still get the armor bonus from it being tougher, but... So gotcha. max dexterity four. That's five, that's six. What is your current? You have just studded leather. That might actually be the best we can get for you at the moment. Uh, oh, we can Man, upgrade the side armor. Sure. Okay. And then we'll probably move on. I think we're kind of done with most of the things we will do here. So we're going to move out into the city. And see what we can do to start helping people out. Because there's a few things they wanted us to help with. Let's try and help with right. demons. Three named, well-written party members. Get out of here. Meme squad represent. Yeah, meme squad. It's me. <laughs> That's why you see the uh, the full arts. They get pulled up. The party members' full arts get pulled up in the loading screens. But the custom-made ones get like the generic mercenary description. Hey, okay. mm -hmm. so the first place we have to get to, the city's kind of been cut in half. Um, by the big demon that attacked us in the first episode, which I guess you'll oh, see later. It's that like just that one up. town in Pokemon XY. That was very yeah. confusing until you got the power turned on. Actually, is it XY? Or... Oh, I was thinking of black, black and white. Uh, the one that gets frozen. Okay. No, there's one in XY. Gotcha. I've not actually played XY. Oh, hang on a minute. No, there is one more quest we've got to do. I Great forgot. Crime. We had to get Horgus to the surface, and we did that. And he will pay us much money if we talk to him now. Huh. He would also give us one of the named party members' quests, but I'm going to ignore that. Uh, yeah, that... 
That makes sense. Just want to talk to him real quick because he's around here somewhere. I think he's kicking around in this camp bit. Worm, where are you? <laughs> uh, where actually is he? Oh, hang on. I think there's a basement thing as well. I think there's a like a rogue or something they locked up. Yeah, there he is. There's Wolf. I don't know what his deal is. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> Surrender thy soul. Ha <laughs> yeah. ha You got to got you again. He's a trickster. He's a bit of a troll. <laughs> oh, I thought it was some like giant glowing worm in there. As I looked away, he looked back and I was yeah, like, yo, what guy. is that thing? I can't remember where Horgus is hiding. I know he's around here somewhere. But yeah, you can Horgus. there is a quest, you can talk to him and get him out. I think he has a whole quest land again. I mean Nora knows for this playthrough and just focusing on the main cast. Mm. So where is the... Where are you, Horus? Oh, there's also someone I think we could talk to here who sort of gives us a quest, but I think we encounter the person related to it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There's Horus. steal from the peasant survivors. Yeah. Okay. He paid us. Finally. Uh, so that'll be perfect. I'll pay Genesee. I'm not interested. Please at least hear me out. Uh, bodyguard. Yeah. I'm not interested. I will decline. I'll go to the mansion anyway and try to find someone else to help me. I just Wait, we leveled up. What the hell? We leveled up off of that. <laughs> Sweet. We must have been like right on the razor's edge of leveling up. The annoying thing <laughs> is that means that we won't have the level 2 spells because I don't want to go back inside and rest up. But we'll we'll level up now real quick. I think our witch will just get some extra spells. Steal points. Uh, oh, we're going to pick a feat. We're going to stick with the idea I had of being a bit of an armored caster. We'll take this one that makes us less likely to fail spells because of armor. Mm. We will also. I'll just get that out of the way early and then we can do you better stuff. better shake some people's bones. It's, it's it, bone it, shaker. It's been, yeah, the bone shaker. Oh, wait, it, that's the wrong it one. It is, is literally what it does. Yeah, it is. It literally, like, psychically grabs their skeleton and shakes it, which is obviously yes. not good. Um, We might well take that. Uh, i just see what else we've got. We've got a lot of, oh yeah, because Witch has got a slightly odd spell book, don't we? We get some weird stuff. We get, like curses and things. Uh tell you what, we'll take Bone Shaker. And because I want to be a little bit of a healer, because we don't have another dedicated one, we're gonna take pure moderate wounds. I think we get some small elemental from our class, I think. I think that's our patron gives us that. So we get one free bonus spell. Oh, I'm gonna level up everybody quickly. And there. Didn't expect to be doing this this early. I'd forgotten that that was a thing that could happen. So Doc is focusing on his bombs. I'm going to go for weapon focus bombs. So that just makes them harder to resist. Uh, don't the fact back he gave that. Bruiser's character just hand grenades. Yeah. To me. But if you sit his laser, <laughs> he does the thing he does in yep. the show. And we are focusing oh, I, on... I didn't watch the show. The first episode was kind of boring. Eh, maybe this is alright, but it, it is a better. little bit of a slow starter. I think I saw it with the anime Saturday back before that got shut down by COVID. Uh, weapon focus. There should be a natural one for, like, claws. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's going to get claw attacks, so we're going to take that. I think he gets claw and bite uh, when he's shapeshifted. Mew will get a new psychic power. Mew is not the smartest. He does not get many spells. <laughs> um, not many really skill points, even. Uh, doesn't have to it's be though. So he's, he's been I've min maxed him, so he's he doesn't get many spells, but he gets a lot of other nice things. Um, <laughs> we've got to pick something we can do with his power. We can either have it so it dazzles things, it can I reach just know further. When video comes out, he's like gonna a... message me saying, "Wow, how could you've done this to I think me?" We'll take flames. So we can get some AOE. Uh, amp, no, amp. not amp. Mecha. What's Magus Arcana do? Third level, he gains one. Ah, it's like a bonus ability. Okay. The Magnus. I have not used Magus before. Magus are like kind of half caster, half sword fighters. And they mm. could cast, like, touch spells through their sword in the same attack kind of thing. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's, it's kind of an interesting class. It's not one I've used a lot, but... Yeah. Does he not have weapons? So what you're saying is... I don't think he needs is, weapons. Okay, he first gets... up, is there a Magus that, that casts spells through a gun? <laughs> I that's kind of cool. There might be a subclass that can use ranged weapons. I don't know off the top of my head. I shouldn't be at all surprised. I'm trying to make him a bit of a wall. 
He wants to be fairly good in combat as well, but I want to make him fairly tough. But he can't take gotcha. shields because he's already got... Um, he has to keep a hand free. Uh, what would be good for him? Two weapon fighting? No, because he won't be able to because he needs a hand free. We have toughness for now. Gives him some extra health. Ah. Swift action to give him a bonus equal to his intelligence on attack rolls. That's quite big. That's like That might be like a plus four or five to hit. One mastery. One wielder. Can I activate a wonder staff on the face of spell? Oh my god, okay, let's see. I'm gonna go for the... Oh, you can just use meta magic with it? Yeah, I might uh, just go for it. You got to use meta magic with it. That's even better, because that doesn't increase the level of the spells, which means they're easy to cast. Let's have... He's got two more spells. Uh, I guess we'll take Blair Burst, since we haven't got that on anybody, and I guess Color Spray. What if he pointed his hand at you and went blah blah blah, and you went blind for a bit? <laughs> and went blah. blah, blah. Okay. So you, meanwhile, you've got endurance, so you won't get tired as easily, and you get better fortitude saves, and you've got favor terrain. And I might as well ask for your input while you're actually here. So favor terrain, you basically get to. Actually, I think it might already have the environment picked because I did that. Earlier. No, you'll get to pick. You get to pick what your favorite place to fight in is, and you'll get bonuses when you're fighting in it. The water. The water. <laughs> I actually don't think that's one of them. Because uh, oh. there's no water sections. Would be this good. text is an option. <laughs> <laughs> Just the whole <laughs> country. Uh, the entire, yes, country of Texas. We are our own thing now in this universe. Oh, yeah, this state wouldn't technically, I guess. Mm -hmm. like short weapons. Yeah, I don't really it think. was a country. For a, a bit. Oh, right. Oh, fair enough. Be mm -hmm. good for you. I'm looking through and thinking what would actually be good for your character. Uh, you aren't ranged, so dodge isn't a bad option. Iron hide just makes you a bit tougher. That's like a dwarf specific one. Uh, Rowan anything's actually not useful here. What does that actually do? Still soul. Plus four against spells and spell abilities. Oh, okay, so it upgrades the one you've Plus four got. racial bonuses. Ooh. Yeah, it's like bonus from being a dwarf, basically. I guess we'll go with that for now. Oh, deadly aim. Oh, it makes you less accurate, but more damage. That could be another way to go. What do you think? I'm thinking either that or steel soul. I think deadly aim. Sure, so you'll hit harder, but you lose a little when, bit of accuracy. But at the range, I was actually quite accurate, so I can't make the joke of saying I'm not very accurate. Okay. But So, we get to pick one of these terrains. We will get a bonus with fighting in it. Don't pick desert. I don't even think there are any desert areas. <laughs> Not that I remember anyway. There might be some, but... The Abyss. The Abyss. Okay. There's going to be an entire chapter in the game down there. <laughs> I'm going to spoil a little tiny bit now. Okay. So, yes, in, in what's probably actually the most painful chapter of the game, you're going to get stronger. Because crabs are live in the Abyss. True. <laughs> right, we'll take Rattling Bones and we'll take a Cure Moderate Wounds. <laughs> You have, to like, you have to, like, prep your spells early, and then you can uh, use them when you get oh, to it, I, I guess. Krauser... I don't actually know what else you would want. Screw strike, I guess. Uh, Amp has got his level 2 spells. Amp has a little bonus ability where he can move through, like, rough terrain without getting the penalties or damage, so I've been giving him the spells that cause those effects. I've also mm. been giving him ones that, like, boost his natural attacks. Yeah, when Freddy creeps him in touch range. So that boosts his allies. Have got one for him? Aspect of the bear. Oh, that boosts... That just boosts his armor in general. Animal aspect. Mm, oh, those are actually super useful here. Um, intriguing, intriguing. I will take... I guess Cat's Grace, right? Considering. Yep. Meow. Cue the, uh, the meow. purpose meow. Meow, meow. Right, we're definitely giving yeah. you another touch spell. You can have a second shocking grasp. And Ranger does not know magic. I thought Rangers did know magic, but maybe that's just the D&D ones. Maybe the Pathfinder ones don't. Mm. Oh, so be it. Right, now we're actually moving out. <laughs> magic Dwarf. I might just run this episode as a long one. Just roll it into one episode. It might be easier because I've already got to, got to edit it. Right, so what do we think? Do we go to the, the museum? That we want to check out, or do we go to the market square to find the uh, the, the gap across the city? 
the possible museum. Step. Let us try sword. to find some ancient artifact that'll help us uh, kill there's, things faster. There's a fallen horse on the road. We got some oh. alchemy ingredients. Yeah, so, and food. So, yeah, you can sometimes find little bits in the city or around the oh, environment cool. you can investigate. We've been attacked on the road. Get, get to see Whoa. the party in action for the first time. We get to set up their hot bars and this things. Quick. I don't know who is talking because I don't know everyone's voice yet. We'll set it to turn based. Right, Mew is up first. A bad shot, which is oh, going to be in range for anyway. Mew's default attack is a blast of fire. Fearing flesh. Yeah. So the way Kinetisys work, they have like elemental like ranged attacks. If I just do an attack on him. Yes. Oh my god. I gave Mew the okay. crazy voice. <laughs> the crazy girl voice. <laughs> no, I <laughs> in the background, uh Hoy Four is on, it's just paused, but I was oh. zoomed in, so like I could hear the things occasionally, <laughs> and as you threw it, I just hear a burst of machine gun fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. This is Kato. Uh, this is uh Amparides Jr. Oh, he has a pet saber cat. Oh, of course. He missed, but we, uh, okay, Mecha. So, again, Magus, their whole thing is Spell Strike. So, second level, whenever they cast a spell of a range of touch, you can, they can do it as part of a melee attack. We have that enabled. So, if we go ahead and cast Corrosive Touch on this poor, uh, unfortunate cultist here, he'll basically make a sword swing, and if it lands, it does the spell and the attack. Protest with malicious intent. Strike. And I think... The enemy was like very slightly outside of attack range, so it didn't land, but it should go off next turn. That there's some of the things like that are a little bit weird with things like that. Here's us. We uh we'll throw a snowball at As you know. It's not I just realized, does this like work on a, him? Uh... It does not. Amp, become big. <clears throat> what? The large person. Oh my gosh. Oh, you've got multi-shot as well. Oh, so your aim's gonna suck, but your uh, but your damage could be quite high. Oh, I yeah. like that. Like, saddle up. Wait, you could ride the dinosaur pet? Oh, I did not know this. Do you Big have... Man, small cat. Yeah, he might not be able to when he's um large, actually. He actually might not be able to at the moment. Oh. Bombs. Now, I want to test something here. In theory... If Krause's ability is working right, this shouldn't hit friendlies. It is not. Excellent. <clears throat> we that man. Also, eat grenade, idiot. Ow. Mac is getting shot. The other thing Kinetisys can do, so a background to Mew, you can actually do what's called infusions. Oh, can he not gather power? Is that because of uh, the way his class works? Um... You could basically, like, take a little bit of a penalty that stacks over time in order to, like, also increase the power of your abilities. So if I use Burning, this will cost him a point of strain, or whatever it's called, but it would then set enemies on fire. That said, kill it in one shot, so it didn't matter. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You kill some enemies. You should take their stuff. How long does Amp say big for? Oh, we bought a item that extends the use of our buffs. We should actually make sure one, some of us have got that equipped. I guess Amp actually got a few buffs, so we'll give it to him for now. Where's that wand? Did buy that in the end, right? Mm. Questioning my sanity. Uh, maybe we didn't. Okay, maybe we didn't buy that. Or oh, have we equipped it some already? Okay, maybe we didn't. I'm just mad. Right, uh, but that was just a little attack on the road. Not much of a threat at the moment. Also, the difficulty feels weird at the moment. Because I'm pretty sure, like, I've realised with the first episode that I was playing on, like, way harder than the default difficulty. <laughs> so, oh. it, I've been playing through this thinking, man, this feels easier than normal. But then realising, wait, <laughs> maybe it's not. Maybe I've just been man. making this hard for myself. I see blood. Blood. <laughs> yes, we'll leave that on for now. Oh no, it's just, it's just me standing inside of the cat. <laughs> I was thinking, wait, am I riding the cat? Let the attack commence. If only. Oh right, it's a fire demon. It's, it's oh no, so spell casually. resistance. Oh right, fire demon. Yeah, it's not fire demon, it's spell resistance. So some things can be resistant to magic. If you don't overcome spell resistance, it just does nothing. Aim carefully. This is something we're going to want to put feats towards being able to do. Uh, I think we can just... 
to spell combat. Gotcha. Hmm. I need to save all that from there. Ah, okay. Oh, that's why he couldn't reach. I forgot. He's an Ori. They're slow. He literally just didn't reach the um the target. That's why he didn't land. Oh. He's like dwar like with dwarves who only have a uh, twenty five movement speed. I think they're the same. Interesting. Interesting. Kado, meanwhile, is our fastest party member. He's actually faster than um, any of the rest of us, Good I think. Kado. Aim carefully. And do a bit of fancy carefully. sword work. Mm -hmm. Oh. They tried to charge me, and all that happened was Amp just shot them in the back. Uh, <laughs> do we want to throw a grenade here? Yeah, actually, these things are kind of yeah, nasty. Yes. Good hit. Oh, are we using these as explosive? Ah, we should be using explosive bombs. There's no reason to use the default ones when the strong ones are available. One thing you could do is a little bit dangerous leaving like melee range, but you can take a little free like five foot step. Die, die, die. Mm. Which can be a good way to get out of range. I'm a witch, but <laughs> crossbow. <laughs> this will hurt. Is Mecha's fancy charted you know, sword? I wondered that. Why do witch like land. they don't ever carry just like an alternative weapon? What if your magic just doesn't work? Well, you're what are you gonna do? In DD terms, what if you run out of spell slots? Yeah, that's which is very like much possible. Block. That said, with how wizards scale, if they reach like, if they get to like fourth level spells, um, they're probably going to either have died or finished off their target by the time running out of spells becomes an issue. Okay, the tower. So there's no need for the pocket clock. Oh, I remember. Uh, there could be. I might still be tempted <laughs> to have one if it was an option. So the other reason we want to go here is because we know the cultists have a base here. We also want to set up our gotcha. formation, because it's messy at the moment. So, Amp, oh. Kato, and Mecha want to be at the front. I'm going to put myself sort of at the back in the middle. I'm going to put Mew out to the side. I'm going to put Browser out to the side. I guess you could be in the middle, because you've got the slightly slower movement. Yeah. Although when we actually move, you'll see it automatically raises us into that formation. The tower's haunted. I've seen oh. so much of this intro so much, I'm not worrying too much about the exact dialogue. <clears throat> I will more in the later areas where it matters more. But basically they're like, hey, Hi. you seem alright. <clears throat> we'll stand with you. Against evil. I hear the echo of a familiar voice. I'm pretty sure they're helping us because we... You get the option to take certain mythic paths. Which do bigger things later on. Um, and grant you extra birdies, and so far we've chosen the two angel options. So you see there, you take on the aspect of an angelic being. They basically just cast like a fairly higher level buff compared to what level we are on us. I think it's like a third level spell or something, fourth level spell maybe. So we gain resistance to acid, cold, damage resistance 5, just generic against evil things, and two extra armor, bonus saves, attacks, etc. And our weapons are considered good, so they will o they will overcome resistance to like evil stuff or good or whatever it is. What's this wherever you are, keep quiet. There's a whole of enemies. Come up and you'll see there's a handy way nearby. We're gonna sneak. I don't normally actually bother with it, but we're gonna do stealth. I'm sure the uh, the literal saber tooth will be nothing but stealthy. <laughs> I like to think he's talking to the cat. <laughs> Be quiet and watch. It's the Shh, cultists. Stealthy. So, no more looting. Come on, you may be doing your job. We're going to flatten the crusaders. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other one. Let's just steal everything. <laughs> so, you idiot, get back there. <clears throat> yeah, they're basically fighting with each other. That escalated fast throws a punch, immediately draws scythe. Immediately. I'm in charge. I'd stay away from there right now. The tower is the main stronghold of the Templar. This is Grable. Labyrinth, and um enemies. going up against that many of them would be suicide. I have a better idea. So here's the thing for Grable. Look at that jawline. <laughs> he does have that. Um, Grable is kind of a dumb act. <laughs> we'll get to that later more. But, uh, he talks a big game, but oh boy. If the um, were better organized, the 
He's not always wrong, but he has some very stupid moments that will never not be funny to me. Here are you. So basically he's like, as he says, he's a hide killer. He basically go, hey, kill this thing. And he'll be like, okay. And he's looking for a demon. Hey, you kill this thing. He's saying, eh, don't fight him. Warn the Crusaders instead. Better to warn the Crusaders and the Defenders home. Shrug. <laughs> okay, now. I have no idea what he's talking about. You can absolutely take them on in a fight. Um, and I think I'm going to try, but we can set the odds in our favour. Who's our best stealthy person, though? Because we're going to have to try and sneak around them to pull this off. Uh... Might it be you, actually, if we took your armour off? I think it actually Perfect. genuinely might be you. Stealth crab. Yeah, no, I it feel would like actually Mew be you. Should be the stealthiest because he is the smallest, but you know, it's... stealth crab. So the armor is giving you a penalty at the moment, but if we take that off, go, you actually. Wait, that voice actually isn't too far off you. Oh, apparently they spotted us instantly. Oh. Did you fail the check? Was that what happened? What happened there? Hang on, let's have a look. Initiatives will be above that. Oh, you failed the check. So what happened there was your stealth was the highest. What you can kind of do, you can sneak around the top. And I think there's a stone pillar somewhere. Yeah. If you push that, it like rolls onto them and hurts them. Uh, the lap was you failed the check. So you like fell down and gave us away. Oh, my fat cheeks were too much. Wow, this yeah. is so relatable. Is, this me? is there more of them here than there were last time I played this? Though? Everything else has been less enemies, but I think there's more of these. Snowball. Oh, right, yeah, it's first time. The thing is, we still actually got the drop on them. We're in a surprise round. So we actually got the drop on the enemy here. Are you still here? That voice genuinely doesn't sound too far off yours, you know. Really? Yeah, at least I don't think it's ter a terrible likeness for your voice anyway. Oh, dang. I forgot my voice acted in this game. <laughs> yeah, I forgot your voice worked for Alcat. Yeah, yeah, crazy, man, crazy. I need to try getting out for each to actually mount the uh, leopard at some point as well. We can actually see if he can do mount in combat well. Let's slow him down a bit. Mm. We've ended up with a lot of ranged characters. Geez, they've output the effect on that a little bit. <laughs> so that whole area is now... Oh, he actually failed his spell. He tried to buff them, but it didn't go off. That probably was because of the vines, what actually. What is going on down there? So many tentacles. Oh, no, he's got, he's got fireball. Oh, no. Yeah, that did a number on us. Fireball's actually really nasty. Um, Do I still have my armor on? No. <laughs> so that might be a problem. Oh. That said, you came off okay out of that fireball. You've got quite high base HP anyway. Yeah, I'm at 21. But yeah, I figured if we threw the uh, the vines down, it makes the terrain difficult, which means it costs double the movement to move through it. Snowball. Fireball! Hey, actually, that did pretty good. I wish it was fireball. Fireball's a lot stronger. Charge. Yeah, he did not get tangled up. He passed the check. You won't always get slowed down by it, but I think it's worked on literally everyone here. <laughs> Apart from us, ironically. Wow. Oh, the only thing is it might be providing... Oh, cat's down. <laughs> the cat's dead. <laughs> not dead, but it's been down. It's not dead. Okay. You scared me for a second. I should have thrown the larger bomb, but he did land the hit. Good job, uh, Doc. I love that little hawk when they're stuck in the vines. It really <laughs> speeds up their animation, but... Uh, oh, wait. Ah. Here we go, cat. Get he up. He's up. Hey, why did I even have to up. roll the check? Hey, Mecha killed one with an attack of opportunity. Sweet. Are we going to get another fireball? No, acid arrow, which I think he missed. Zero damage. Oh! Angelic Aspect's giving us acid resistance. He didn't do enough damage to actually get past it, so we just got to ignore it. That hit him. He is fire resistant, but it still did damage. Okay, well, let's dazzle him. There's loads of them close together now. Let's use the sword. So we got also, like, a magic, like, angel sword. We can't use it as a weapon, but we can call upon it, and it gives us all our friendlies an extra hit point, and it dazzles all the enemies nearby. Mecha is, I see, I see. Mecha is unhappy. That's about the fourth thing he's killed. <laughs> I got 
throw a uh, small demon. That's back, but I think if he gets up now, he's going to get injured, so I'm going to leave him on the ground for now. Yeah. Explosive bomb. This will hurt. Excellent. Did that hit any of ours? I don't think it did. Yeah. Oh. No, it didn't. It, the effect is working. Yeah, only Red hit theirs. <clears throat> Alright. That's good. Yeah, he's got an ability that's supposed now to be no need. There's one need. piece of damage to Doc. Ah, okay, I think that was something else. Well, not so good there, Amph. You were doing alright earlier. That's it. Missing one attack's not too bad. Oh, that's the guy we're trying to deal with. He tried fireball as he tried to acid arrows again, and he did a crit fumble, so he rolled a one, basically. Hmm. Let's heal the party. In fact, I think he's gonna heal everything in range because we haven't got selective heal, but that'll have more effect on us than it will on them. Shoot the little guy again. You shot a demon in the back of the head, how do you feel? I feel great, honestly. <laughs> Unless it was what's her name, then I'm sad. Oh, <laughs> one of our one of our friendlies. No no. No, I meant uh from like your game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, like um Rayleigh or Vanessa or well, either yeah, of those yeah, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good hit. I've heard Amp's voice actor somewhere before, I just realized. That's the third Acid Arrow. That one did a single point of damage to us. Burn. At this rate, we'll be in trouble uh, by the time his entire party is dead. <laughs> Snowball. Snowball's low level and it's not the best, but it does decent damage. <clears throat> but really, at the moment, we should be okay. I don't think there's anything that should be too dangerous. Yeah, it's like a cooler version of your voice, like more of an action hero -y version. A cool version of my voice. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Cooler version of your voice. A right. risk. I'll accept it. Stop this man. Swipe. Oh, he is on fire. Um, he took. He knocked the cat out again, but um, he is actually now burning. <clears throat> I think that must have been the bomb we launched earlier. Yeah, I am burning from acid, but the uh, the buff we got given is repelling all the actual damage from it. I should mention, Greyball said we would uh, this would be suicide attacking on our own. Oh, that's um, fine. We're built different. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're built different. Built stupid. Uh, and if you could now please get rid of the vines so we can actually see. It. Thank you. Mm. Just let, can we sacrifice that dead dude on top of the uh, sacrifice? <laughs> We're trying to get rid of the demons, not make more of them. No, but this one will be f with us. Oh, who's going to summon a friendly? Yeah, a friendly team. We just summon Ralia. Oh, that's yeah, that would be cool. We could make her as a party member later. I did have the idea of like running one of those cast members as. Mm -hmm. No, don't push the column. The amount of times I've <laughs> dropped that on my own party. Oh, there's a plus one butler in that uh, so, um, wreckage. So can you have there. a demon char character? You can get um, what are called... Oh, what are they called? How can I not know this? This was like one of the first characters I played in D&D. What are they called? Tiefling. Which is like a half demon, or like a part demon anyway. They've had like a demon ancestor at some point. Gotcha. Um, and they get, like, some demonic bonuses. You can also go Demon Path with the Mythic Path. Uh, where you get a load of demon buffs. I think you do turn into one at the end. Where you get the ability to turn into one. Interesting, interesting. Is that better than Amp's Shield? It is the same, but it is lighter. And it doesn't come with any check so penalty. So it is better. It is, yes. Because it's the same amount of armor, but it doesn't have any check penalty on it. Uh, although I thought druids couldn't use metal equipment. <laughs> he doesn't seem to mind this one, so go figure. Uh, Doc is injured a bit. You've got a mutagen, right? What does that actually do? Oh, Dex and AC, but less wisdom. Yeah, so the other thing Alchemist could do is kind of go like Hulkish and like use like mad scientist potions. Oh! Uh, I don't think we're going to need that here. Okay, here we go. To the basement. Literally. <laughs> the basement with you. I don't think there's anything over there. No. 
It always looks like somewhere that should have a hidden room, but... Mm-hmm. Do this. Ten more. Okay, I'll read this one, because this one's fun. Pale and frightened half-elf looks at you warily. His face is twisted to a grimace like he just ate something slimy. Hey, who are you? Uh, phrase Baphomet. What are you doing here? Did Faxon send you? Faxon is one of the people we killed, by the way. Um... Oh. I heard a noise outside, but I was busy making a list of the relics. Did something happen? What do we think? Who are you? Um, hmm. Interesting. We'll go with who are you. Yeah, he looks scared, so let's not kill him. Uh, I am Pelbo, the scribe and senior aide to Lord Xanthir the Plagued One. Uh, do forgive me, but that's a bit of sign to command, is he not? Where is he? What are you doing here? I'm compiling a list of the valuable Crusader artifacts. Lord Xanthir has ordered that everything of use should be transported from Canabras and saved from the looting and destruction. There's a museum is a to taste to collect and sort through the trophies. But the local thieves have basically stolen everything already. Um, huh. Some objects of items nearby. But where's Faxon? Where's the custodian? They say they've got the custodian. Every day in the, ga in the gallery, I deceived him. I told him I was a Crusader. The old man's basically uh, a little bit senile. Uh, clear off before uh. I kill you. You're lying. You ought to turn me away so you can strike me in the back and take the papers that have been entrusted to me. No, know it. Um, I have valuable letters from Los Angeles. I must destroy them. He tries to eat it. Um, and it him? immediately starts choking on it. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> the good option is to help him. The evil is just watch him. Or you could just do the neutral and just kill him immediately. Uh, let's help him. Yeah. We're sticking with good. You basically, like, drag it out. <laughs> it's gross, but you help him. <laughs> he runs off. He disappears, leaving you with the water correspondence that's much worse for the wear. It's basically the same way he's been doing. <laughs> Piece of paper with visible bite marks, traces of spit. Mm. Mm. Not uh, tasty. I can't remember if any of it's useful. Store the potions in a safe place sealed with a room. Ah, so he stored some potions somewhere sealed with a room. It's a little clue. Might be here, if that's meant to be the room. Yippee. Is there a little secret in here or something? A book? An angels? Probably don't need that. I think some of them are just lore. But you might be able to sell it though, so I guess we'll grab it. Hmm, I thought it might be here, but maybe not. Oh yeah, this is where there's meant to be some relics, but uh... Yeah, they've kind of been stolen. I think one of them is the sword that we found earlier. Oh, there's the custodian. Ooh, more loot. Yeah, unfortunately, we too are looting this museum. Yes. Perfect. You know what? It's anarchy. But okay, whatever. Then. That's also we're actually trying to help, so there is that too. Yeah. So I'm not going to hurt you. He's like, hey, stay back. You, I'm sorry, I was distracted. What are we talking about? Yeah, it's kind of a sad bit. His, you can talk to him a bit. Um, like I said, my memory isn't what it was. He was really smart once. He was a mage, but now he's uh, getting a little old. Mm. If you tell him to like give you the keys, I think you can try and persuade him. You can like trick him into giving the museum keys. <laughs> we could just have Mew oh, try and okay. steal them. <laughs> yes, but give. <laughs> Look behind give you. Daddy's yeah, already stolen them. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I feel worried about, about it. Why did I spare you? There's been no demons here. A very polite fellow came in and said that they'd already captured the tower back. And unfortunately, the poor old man showed them where all the relics were and gave them to him. Uh, you... You can tell him oh, that... Oh, speaking of bad things happening, oh, my sister has arrived. Yeah. You can tell him that, but he kind of loses track halfway and goes back in the loop. It's kind of sad. That said, they send it to the uh, send it to the tavern. Oh, the defender's heart. But... He's saying about thieves, and he doesn't go. You can't convince him, unfortunately. Why is this so sad? Yeah. Poor old man. I don't know if there is a way to help him, but if there is, I haven't found it yet. <clears throat> Maybe I'll take the wrong door. approach or whatnot. But, who knows. That said, we stole the key, so... Something here. It is booby trap, though. No secrets New, yeah. Okay, me. good. We do have a trap uh, clearer. I was a bit worried we wouldn't have anyone who could do it. That Mew can, uh, indeed, some traps. These red things. Oh yeah, that's our little pet dragon. There's a little pet dragon, a critter in a box. 
uh, that you get at the start of the game. He is ours now. We're going to give him a go. Critter in a box. He doesn't, um, he doesn't attack, but he does give you a little stat boost when he's up. Any pet sovereign dragon. Let's see what's in the loot. I did it! Ooh, an enchanted longbow. And trapping longbow. When it does a crit, it has a chance to tangle up enemies and go around. I think we do we have an archer? Do we have someone with a longbow? We do! Doc's got a longbow as his backup. Now he has a better one. He has a what? Excuse me? He's got a longbow as his backup weapon. Oh, okay, okay. He's also an enchanted. I said Pila, but I was burping, so I didn't hear it. We've also got a Kukuri. Which does extra Kukuri. damage against the undead. Not terrible. I don't know if any of us are particularly. Actually, that could be one for Amp. No, you can't wield Makes it. Makes sense. Martial oh. proficiency. Okay, I think. Can I get that as a sidearm? I think you might be able to, actually. Uh, I'm just seeing if this is any better than the claw. No, not even close. Yeah, we'll give it to you as a uh, sidearm. So your secondary loadout has you a shield and a little uh, enchanted dagger that's good against the undead. Oh, that looks sick. Yeah, I think it. Is it a finesse weapon? It is, so you're actually, you'll be decent with that, because finesse weapons use your dexterity to hit, same as your ranged attacks. <laughs> so you actually will be alright with that sidearm. Uh, in fact, you'll hit as accurately as you would at range, but you won't get the damage, because the damage comes from uh, strength. Hmm, kind of fit jewellery. Lady Callista's chain shirt. Ooh. It's, a bit, it's an enchanted plus two mithril chain shirt. Oh, actually, that's incredibly good. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, that's just here? I don't think I ever looked at this properly before. I'm sure I've had this before. Yes, this is really good because Mithril is lighter. It doesn't have the armor check penalties. It has really good base defense and it has higher max dexterity. So that's a really oh, good okay. bit of armor to get that early on. Is it for, does it help? Sit, well, blah, 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 I can't speak. Who are you <laughs> going to give it to? Maybe Doc. I don't think his spells are arcane. Alright, uh, now... Our cells could also be a good bet. sadly, uh, go right now. I'm being called. No prob. It's been nice thank having you. You did. See you yeah, later. Yeah, thank you. We've also got a flaming mace at some point. I don't know when we picked that up. Can't... No, you can't use that either. Right. Can we? We can. <laughs> I guess that's our, uh... Why not? We'll hold on to that for now. I don't think we'll ever use it, but we'll hold on to it. Oh, let's put Cringe's armor back on. I realize he's still not wearing it. Where do we see the cat? I know we can see the cat's um. Let us bide our time. Hmm, I know we can see the cat's stats somewhere, I just can't remember where. No. Nope. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know how much health you've got. I thought you could feed the cats on the uh, on the bar somewhere. Anyway, we'll move on. I've got two minutes longer left to record time wise, but we shall push on a little bit. Six so just be a long episode. I was gonna record two, but we'll start this as one long one. That said, that was a rather successful trip. Raybor appears to have left. And we did slightly mungle the entrance, but other than that, we got through, we weren't hurt. Uh, you brought us back to waking. Greetings. Why did you help? Sense something in you, as if you're close to me somehow. Sense the light that dwells within you. Yeah, we uh it's basic they're basically happy that we uh help them. Memories. They're basically memories of the uh various heroes and things of the crusade. Oh well vision. <coughs> yes, they'll disappear shortly. But they actually really did help us because uh we got hit by a few of those acid bolts and they would have done a lot more. If we hadn't um, had that protection. Destroy and collected because none of that stuff's worth keeping. It doesn't catch stuff that's in boxes you haven't opened. It just does stuff that you've already seen. It is usually worth doing just to keep the frame rate up. Oh, can we go there without Camilla? No, we can't. Okay. I am going to skip that. I know that quest is probably worth doing because you get decent stuff for it. But I am just going to skip the companion quest for this run through. I'm just not going to touch them. They might get mad at us, they might leave, uh, which kind of sucks because I do kind of like them, but I don't want to be able to swap out our party members, so... We should be going to not engage where we can. As I said, some of them I think are part of the main quest anyway, so we'll help them out when they come up. 
that disappeared after a magically induced earthquake. Basically, that's uh, Discovery's Scythe doing that damage. Do this. Tiefling. I think everything did hit me. I never stole anything. So, it was all there back there. They found a way into the Grey Garrison. That was one of our goals, to find a way into the Grey Garrison, and these Tieflings stole, found it. Nothing to do with it. Who are you? Honest guys, form of some bad folks. Let's hand over to a Underground entrance. Right, so temple around here has a cellar. And the passage leads into the garrison. Interesting. Easy way in. The few things have been using it to trade stuff. Uh, go on your way. Cheers, let me go. I'll remember. I'll name my first one after you. It runs away. I'm sure you will. But yes, you can, I think you can turn them in or attack them, but I don't see why you would. He actually did help. <laughs> I guess you feel maybe a really, like... The word they use for it sometimes, lawful stupid, I've heard used to describe like paladins or like and sort of similar characters who are like way too up on like enforcing the law in places where a little leniency Let's really wouldn't hurt. If that would specifically do less harm. <laughs> I know we are magic, but our spells are limited at the moment, so I'm gonna save magic where we can. I really do think it sounds I don't want to be mean to cringe. Uh, with the whole like cooler version, but it does sound like some like him doing a cool guy voice. Okay. <coughs> you immediately misses. Yeah, Cat always actually really low on health. I do need to heal him. I'm still all right. When he rolls decent, he does all right. Or Cat, I keeps getting dropped. Uh, right, let's try a. We've got spell strike turn on, right? Let's try shock and grasp. The let demon. There we go. He landed both. Didn't do amazing damage, considering, but... Okay, let's have... If we do one channel energy, we should get Kado back up, because Kado does not have a lot of HP at the moment, I don't think. Or armor, for that matter. He's quite fragile. He is an extra member, and he does hit reasonably okay, but he's not very solid. Right, this definitely counts for an explosive bomb, because we can hit, like... Most of them here, honestly. This is why we took extra bombs early on, so we could keep doing this. Do we have any more? No. No, we've used up all our spell slots already. We may want to rest at some point, because this area is bigger than it looks at first. Don't hold back. See, he knows the dot's not going to be able to hit him. We can just keep chucking fireballs at this group. So doing quite well on those... um. Attack opportunity kills. A solid plan. I'm not gonna lie though, <laughs> big abs like Puma picture in the corner keeps making me think he is Kato. Oh dear. Mew, can you finish him off? Excellent shot. I'm not sure why Mew can't um can't use channel energy yet though. That has it on the hotbar. Can Psycho Kinesis just not use that? You're supposed to be able to use that to like counteract the downsides of increasing the power and applying the extra effects to your um like Kinesis abilities. So I'm a little confused as to why I can't use it, but then again, I've never used the Psycho Kinesis before. So it might be missing it. Because a lot of the classes are like it's like this class, but it does the slight variance kind of thing, like you use. You lose a few abilities, but you gain some others, kind of thing. The looted stuff, yep. Bunch of random gubbins. Ours now. <coughs> but you can't unburn the city. You could technically unloot those buildings, but it's not worth our time. Oh yeah, you can actually just try to ambush people. We actually did get the drop in there. Look. Nah. It's not quite close enough to get the shot straight away. Really does sound like Cridge's voice though. At least I think it does. You can get a charge off though if you're lucky, like we are there. That sword is a mecha combined of doing wonders. I think putting him as our Atlas was for like his representation was not inaccurate. I like if anything, we're sort of the weaker party member at the moment, but I think we'll get a lot better once we get our second set of spells. 
On the shield loss, we might play level. Let's risk something here. Do these bombs use our hit friendlies, or do these also ignore them? Those ones do hit friendlies. Whoops. <coughs> Worth finding out now in a relatively low level area. I like Cringe's bad aim may come back to bite me later, but we'll see how we go. I said Mew has zero chill, but hit very hard there, actually. And now this one has cast Mirror Image. Which is the real one? Not that one. But you can probably see how that spell works. <coughs> Just by looking at that animation for it, honestly. Oh, bad hit from Echo. That's not good. That did a lot of damage. I think he might have been a Barbarian that we're fighting there, so he's a little bit tougher. Yeah, so pretty sure Mirror Image just gives you a chance to just hit one of the doubles instead of the real one. You can sometimes still... Yeah, thank you, Becca, for demonstrating exactly that. You can sometimes just clip the real one and just kill them, but... It's rare. Enemies tend to get a lot tougher as we go on as well. Most of them won't die in a single turn later on. At least not a single hit, anyway. Not that that can't still happen. Witches are actually... <laughs> I've never heard that dialogue line before. <laughs> oh no, he's <laughs> self-aware. So okay, fair enough, cool. On the grounds of uh, ending on self-aware, whoever that was, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we shall end the episode there. Whoa, 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 whoa. We shall not end the episode there, we'll finish this dialogue. I don't know. Can we really do this? Listen, we don't have a choice. There are demons everywhere. What else would you have us do? In Iomade's name, we're sorry, girl. Basically, they appear to have uh, accosted this small girl. Do this, not for our own sake, but for the I understand. You're scared. This is our response. You're powerless. You think this will help? You don't have to justify yourselves to me. Just do what you've decided to do. Ember is a, a little cinnamon roll. Effectively, uh, who is too good for this world, especially given what's going on in this world. We protect her. We look after Ember here. She also has some very funny hustle plotline stuff that I've not normally done because I don't normally run these party members. I normally do just use customs. Um, I won't spoil that, but if you've ever seen the Maxwell video, you know what I'm talking about. It's extreme, but we have no other choice. We have to defend this city somehow, or else we'll all perish, including her. Yeah, they basically say we've got to like sacrifice her to make our weapons powerful. They're just like, wait, who told you to do this? Whose idea was this? I think it was yours. My idea? I was against the whole thing right from the start. Who said we needed to make a sacrifice? Wasn't it you? You can't blame anyone else for that. Please don't fight. All of you are good people, defenders of the city. You just made a mistake. Please don't hurt them. Get to the tavern where the survivors are and not do that again. Thank you. They're gone. And they all lived. I was sure that someone would die today. <laughs> so many people died Actively bad already. people would cut through on the way over. But we are still alive for some reason. Strange, isn't it? Strange, isn't it? But you shouldn't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a silly girl, really. I don't believe that though. <coughs> no, don't be silly. I'm very ordinary. Now, the bird apparently taught her magic. She truly is unusual. She's clever and she can talk, but only sure. We have adopted Ember. We're not gonna put her in the party. We're gonna stick with stick uh, with our custom party, but we have adopted Ember. We go into the house and then save there because there's some stuff in here. Oh my god, the animation on camera. He's so cute. Damn it. Alright, I guess we'll do this fight real quick. I was hoping to get some sleep, but... Damn you! Oh no, it's swarms. Swarms are a little bit less dangerous in this game, I think, because of all the suffering they caused newbies in the last one. I think they knew. What we'll probably do as well, we'll rest in this building. Where is the touch? Get acid. Oh, cringe was an F. See the rats? God damn it. Wait, why am I doing this one? It doesn't hit as hard as the other one. 
Are you sort of standard bombs or just a flat downgrade over any of the special ones? Yes, it used to be you can only hit swarms with certain attacks. Oh, I know which building this is. We're not going through that door yet. We've all learned that recipe, though. The recipe, so then we have two new foods unlocked. Okay. We will call that episode there. For now, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Nice having cringe on temporarily. I'm going to have to edit this video together later, but oh well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.